Hi, I'm here to show you how your students can become unstuck both inside the classroom or at home with Jack Tudor. Let's take a look. Let's look at this example over here where we're working with a worded question. Aiko and Miyu are sisters who receive pocket money based on their age. Their parents pay them according to the equation P equals 3x minus 25 where P represents their weekly pocket money and X is their age in years. In the first question, it asks me at what age do Aiko and Miyu start receiving pocket money? And I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking, how does this make any sense? Because I'm looking at the equation and it says 3x minus 25. And if I substitute some numbers in there, it's going to be negative. So in this case, I'm not actually too sure what the question is asking. So I can click on Tutor over here. And on the right hand side, you see Jack Tutor pops up. And I've got the three prompts. So what is the question asking? Can you show me how to start? and how can I check my answer? And I'm not too sure about what this question is asking me to do. So I might click on the first option. And you can see over here, it says the question is asking you to find out what age Aiko and Miyu start getting pocket money. And you need to use the equation to do this. And in this equation, P is the pocket money and X is their age. So you need to find the age when the pocket money is more than zero. So this clarifies it because before I was looking at this and I was thinking, well, there's a negative over here and that doesn't make any sense for pocket money. But here, the question has actually been clarified because it tells me I need to find out when the pocket money is now positive. So you can see that over here, I've got three X minus 25 and I need to find the value of X that makes this positive. So let's work through this problem. I know that the equation is P equals three X minus 25. And we need to find out what value of X makes this expression positive. So if I do x equal to two as an example, that tells you p would be three times two minus 25. And that would be six minus 25. And you can clearly see that this is negative. So this is no good. If I try x equals five, I might get p equals three multiplied by five minus 25. So that's 15 minus 25. That's still negative. And I might try x equals seven. That's still negative. So let's try one more number, x equals eight. This gives you 24 minus 25. So we're getting very close because this gives you negative one. So if I try nine, p would be three times nine minus 25. So this is 27 minus 25, which is a positive number. So therefore, x equals nine would work. And in this case over here, to answer the question, Ico and Miyu start receiving pocket money when they are nine years old. And if I submit the answer, you can see that Jack Tudor helped me become unstuck because it explained to me what the question was actually asking for. Let's look at the next one. Miyu is two years older than Aiko. How much more pocket money than her sister does Miyu receive every week? Assume the sisters are both old enough to be receiving pocket money. And I'm looking at this question and I'm just thinking, well, Miyu is two years older than Aiko. And how much more money than her sister does Miyu receive every week? So I get that Miyu is two years older, but how do I, how do, I do this question? Because I don't know how old they are. I don't know how old Aiko is, and I know Miyu is two years older, so how do I do this question in that sense? So what I might do here is I might click on the tutor again. And when I click on the tutor, this time I know what the question's asking, so I know one of the girls is older than the other, but I'm not too sure about how to start because I don't know Aiko's age. So what I might do here is I might click on, can you show me how to start? And you can see that with the right hand side, it says first, we need to understand that the pocket money increases by $3 each year because of the equation P equals 3X minus 25. So you can see that from this equation that 3X minus 25 is the expression and every time I increment X by one, the value goes up by three. So that tells me if that if Miyu is two years older than Aiko, then that means we need to be increasing by six because it's $3 for each year. So in this example over here, Jack Tudor has given me some idea of where to start with the question. And based on this, I actually don't need to know how old Ico is. I can answer the question just knowing the fact that the amount increases by $3 each year. So if I submit my answer, this time I got this one correct. 
and in C, how much pocket money do Ico and Miyu receive when Ico is 11 years old? So let's have a look at this one. We know the equation was P equals 3X minus 25. We know that the age is 11. So this would be 33, take 25, which would give you eight. So the answer is $8. Now from the previous question, we know that Miyu is two years older than Aiko, and that means she receives $6 more. So if we take the $8 and add $6, that gives you $14. And this time I can submit my answer. And I got this right. And what I might do this time is I got my answer, and I might click on how can I check my answer. So if I click on Tutor, I can click on how can I check my answer. So I got it right, but I want to make sure that I get it right every single time in the future. And it says you can check your answer by substituting the ages of Aiko and Miyu into the equation. And if your calculated pocket money matches your answer, then you're correct. So we got Aiko being $8, we calculated that. And for Miyu, I didn't do that. I used part B to help me answer part C. So let's actually check. So if we substitute the numbers for Aiko, we got three times 11 minus 25, which was eight before. And we can also do the same for Miyu. Now we know that Miyu is two years older, so that would be 13 instead of 11. Three times 13 is 39. If I subtract 25, that would give you 14. And you can see that that matches my answer over here.